But then they find water on Mars and they're like, we live here. Do hey, they? let's fix Oklahoma first, huh? Oklahoma? What about <laughs> Chicago? What, what is that? What is that when you wake up and go, it's Tuesday and it's a Friday? What is that? God playing tricks on you? Is God even real? Are we going? <laughs> Great. Are we going? Who cares? Are we in? Are we in? Sure. I'm sick of it. Sick of what? I'm sick of is what you God sick real? Of? I, I, sure, yes. But how but, come you, you're here now? But how come when you take mushrooms, you go, God is for sure here, and yeah. then it fades out, and you go, is and God then you real? get a car accident and you blow your back. Up. <laughs> yeah. And then you're like, imagine what? being a girl and getting your back blown up by a car. The boyfriend's like, God <laughs> damn it! I couldn't even do a that. Toyota. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think the most random thing a girl's got mad at a guy for, like? Oh, uh, you know how I was like, oh, you're texting Jake from State Farm. I'm like, what do you think is most random? I'm like, oh, you just, you got hit, you got hit by a, a Denali. Oh. Is oh. that who it was? Who's Denali? Oh, oh, you right. Got <laughs> down by. <laughs> down. Fuck. Dude, they call a hoedown a f awesome. Down. What is a hoedown? Hoedown. What it's is a it? dance where hoes. When hillbillies do the, the two step? I think hillbillies got it right. Overalls, straw in their mouth daily, and go down on the woman with Copenhagen in the mouth. 100%. But Dude. they're just walking around just zoned out with opiates. That's what you should do. <laughs> That's all of America. That's what you should do, man. Is it? Is do it what? that? What? Is it like, are we f***ing up by being sober? But here's the funny thing. No. Are we ever sober? No. What? Are, are we? we ever sober? Because yeah. for the most part, we wait. The only time I'm sober, like 100% sober, is okay. what I... No, you know what I mean. Because we're on caffeine is what I mean. We're on caffeine. What caffeine's is a, a drug. Mormon pod? Well, caffeine's a drug. <laughs> what type of BYU podcast? Caffeine? I did a couple of key bumps of a Keurig over the weekend. A drug is something. Where I've never sucked <laughs> for coffee. I would. There are I would. there are days when Dude, I go. I woke up whip this that morning. Cock out for a latte. This morning. Yeah. I was like, if there was a man here, I would <laughs> suck a <laughs> for a half a sip of a Dunkin' Donuts coffee. I was fiending. You ever right? Went? But go to a grocery store. Make it in your room. No, for sure. But what I'm saying is, it is a drug. Caffeine is a drug. Starbucks out here being the sure. biggest drug dealers in sure. America, and we're like, and whoa, a hand whoa. job is, you know, not consensual before marriage. What? I don't know. All right. <laughs> I don't know. Walk me through it. <laughs> walk me. Walk you through your own ideas on Larry. No, but you're trying. I, what I'm trying to say is, to your degree, that caffeine is a drug. Is it like is a drug. getting a hand job before marriage is cheating. Not cheating. It's illegal. Illegal. On in God's law. And then, saying, and in then you get married law. and then you can nut. Isn't that funny? I do. If I didn't f before marriage, I would say I do and my f would be out. And the woman's dad would be like, what are you I doing? I insert yeah. do. Dude, can you imagine being 21? Yeah. I do. Dude, a reception? Yeah. Well, I'll see you there. <laughs> That's also what they should do is the second the wedding's done, beat it up, yeah. both of them, and then the the speech. The first dance? Yeah. I'm hard. This oh, wedding oh, is yeah. sponsored by Blue Chew. That's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. I would, well, I would think yeah, about I that. See, think about what? So you're the father, right? You see, because immediately, if they're like religious, immediately they're going to immediately, right? So then you come down you and think? then you see your baby girl hobbling and you go, oh, I wonder what happened. Yeah, but then you see your son doing a couple of these like, hey. But the son, yeah. but the father of the son is like, hell yeah. The father of the bride. Yeah. When she's hobbling down yeah, the Yeah, but dads don't really care anyways. Sir. Dads are checked out. Really? Most dads would, are checked out. Buddy, if Most you dads are too busy girl, worrying about like the ferns in the back and the Dow Jones. It depends on. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the thing. I think I think the weirder your hobby is is directly correlated to how much you hit your wife. Yes. Right? So absolutely. You, so if you're in, if you're into like building like miniature boats in the in the basement, Dude, you fucking hate yeah, your wife. You're cutting the lawn with nail clippers. Yeah. You're like, oh, it's taking a little long. <laughs> I do it with my teeth. And then she goes, why don't you go down on me like that? Because I lost love for you in the 80s. Maximum. I was lying in the 80s. The only reason I married you because your cousin was hot and I thought you'd die early. What happened? What happened to your li What happened to your MS? How did it leave? What's MS? <laughs> <laughs> Mitochondria syndrome? <laughs> it's so hot in here. <laughs> I only brought one t-shirt. I'm sweating. Yo, What's MS? What happened with your 13? MS? 13? What? Michael J. Fox. <laughs> Multiple Shaky sclerosis. shake. <laughs> yeah. Man. <laughs> no, you know. Okay. It just, it, now it just got too real. But it's so fun. Oh, well, I'm not going to walk you the whole time. Do it. No, because it's, it's mean if I, if I step by step through the process of my head. Sure. Anyways. But. <laughs> 
I, the, but I really do think that, like, if, if your husband likes Legos, he hates you. <laughs> like, he hates you. But what, what does your husband do if he loves you? What's the opposite? Like, like a, like a Lakers game. Something that takes like an hour, hour and a half, you come back. What? But if you're in the basement, dude, if you learn how to pl if you're a, if you learn how to be a plumber yeah. as a, as a husband, holy shit! Yeah, you your husband just took up bongos. <laughs> it ain't going. Yeah, well. but anything it takes a long time, dude. If I'm a husband and I'm like, oh, yeah. if I'm handy, I like know how to do like plumbing or like electrical work. I'm fucking the house up when my wife's asleep so I can fix it in the morning. Does that make sense? Oh yeah. So wife's like, oh my Flush god, flush a brick down the toilet. One hundred percent. I fucking put the baby's head down there. Who gives a well, shit? Bad. Yeah, I mean, dude, it's the guy across the street from me. I see him every day, every single day. He he doesn't miss a day. He's out there working on something. Yeah. I mean, he's using Windex on a, on a leaf and just to polish him a little bit. <laughs> but like every no, every, every no, I swear to God, every day like he's doing something that's like not necessary, right. and the yard looks the exact same. It's like he works. It's like when you eat a giant Chinese chicken salad from from um, Cheesecake Restaurant? Factory. Okay. You eat it for an hour, and it's still like the same size. Oh, right. You know I mean, like he works on this bitch every day, and it still looks mid. Oh, oh, it doesn't look bad. Oh, I mean, it looks bad. I mean, for the amount of hours he's doing, like I don't do anything to my yard, and I'm like, I think we're on the same page. Do you? Yo, so you don't do any yard work? No, I have gophers. They're tearing my shit up right now. Plants are all the grass is dying. So gophers are real. Gophers are real. Gophers aren't just like jacked up squirrels. What the <laughs> fuck's a gopher? Uh, they're underground squirrels. What do they? They just make holes. They just love holes. What the fuck? Hey, where's some gophers we, I, too? We, dude, I love a good hole, dude. I'm telling you, a fucking slap my hands. Sorry, down. it's okay, dude. It's dude, so a good sad. hole. What the hell's in vagina that makes it so good? A candy store? What's in there? Fentanyl. Maybe. Yeah, I agree. God I damn, agree. it's like a warm catcher's mitt. You just, yeah. you just dip it in there. Yeah. See, God made you that. God, God made that. God did. God did. Because it, there's layers to it, you know? The vulva? Well, it's just already good, and then it warms up too. And then it gets wet. Huh? <laughs> what in the car wash is happening? <laughs> it's, it's, it's got... It's so it's not one dimensional like a dick. No. Dick is one dimensional. Dick's one got, D. Dick's D, got dick. one move. One move. Isn't that Bang, funny? Bang, it's a dog move. who can sit. Good. Roll over? No. Absolutely not. A woman's like a Swiss Army knife pussy. That shit's hey, got scared everywhere. You can do my nails. <laughs> yeah. Open a bottle of wine, screw in a flathead. Yeah. Why I had a Swiss Army knife growing up. I mean young. I had a Swiss Army knife growing up. It had a toothpick in it. Me and mine too. Yeah. yeah. What the, the hell is that, that about? Why don't more people carry Swiss Army knives now? I think they're legal. Bro, they got to make a Swiss Army knife vape. That's a good plan. No, that's a good plan. How is that not already out no, in the zeitgeist? Guys. And then have a Phillips head. Yeah. That's a good idea. But that's, that'd be great for anybody who has, you know, like, dude, if you're in construction, I want that on me. Like, yeah. I want to vape, but also I can clock twice to the right, <laughs> clock twice to the right. That's a really good idea. You ever put on a tool belt, like a fully, like a fully stocked tool belt? No. Heavy. Yeah. Them motherfuckers walk around like it's three pounds. Yeah. It's 17 to 18 to pounds. So big. The hammers be, uh, what's in there? What's in there? Drugs, for sure. They got to snort meth. A ruler, a hammer, some nails. All this, all the screwdrivers. Uh, screwdrivers. I but put a gun in there. <laughs> just one gun with Wait, one bullet. If you're just roofing and you got a gun? Yeah. Just see a gopher, bang. Dude. You ever shot an animal? Uh, I think a lizard. Oh. <laughs> I think a BB like gun. Lizards don't count. What? Li How come some animals Dude, have imagine? more value than other animals? <laughs> If you kill well, a lizard, it, no one gives a shit. If you shoot a golden retriever, you go to prison. What? Well, that's true. Isn't but that? They're all, both animals. It's about the size. If you shoot a bearded dragon, you're an animal. If there's just like a, like a random lizard, you're like, nah. I mean, it's not great, but it was with a BB yeah, gun. Yeah, but I, was I like mean, 12. but there there are dogs that are like little chihuahuas that are the size of bearded well, dragons. Well, you know what I mean? Yeah, but no, chihuahuas are. But that's a you shoot a chihuahua. <laughs> Come on, man. They created Taco Bell. Shoot it. But <laughs> but is but isn't that funny? But isn't that funny? It's what? like the size. It is. Yeah. It's the size. Well, it's the but fact what's, that it's a pet. What's... If it's in a Petco, mm. it's like illegal to shoot it. If, you, if you're an animal and you make it a Petco, you're like, you're on you base. got a shield. You're yeah. base. You're you base made it to you... Noah's Ark. Yeah. You're, you, you got a shield. Yeah, you're on base. He you fucked those animals, right? <laughs> <laughs> he was alone. He had no wife, no girlfriend. What do you think he did with the fucking cows? Yeah, little Move sus. Move your yeah. dick out of my ass. <laughs> <laughs> you want to bring roosters? Move your dick out of my ass! You got a whole. <laughs> you got a whole boat. Whole, a boat. whole boat. You can get 
at least forty eight women from Ibiza on not there. Not one hoe. <laughs> not one hoe. You have a you have two goats. Not Bro one got hoe. a llama on there. Bring the two llamas for dude, what? A llama, neck you ever see a llama neck? Same joke. <laughs> um, Absolutely what? crazy, dude. The saddest thing about gophers is if you Google how to get rid of them, it's really sad. What do you do? Uh, well, there's the humane way, which is still pretty fucked. You put like a buzzer in the ground, and it anytime there's movement, it sounds like eh, sound. So oh, it just really fucks up their fuck. day with the vibe. Or this is where it gets sad. You just put a hose in one of the hole and you turn it on, and it drowns. Raging waters. <laughs> I mean, fucked. Uh, what do you? Not nice. Not nice. It's not great. Well, can you get like can? You, there's got to be a better way to do that. Well, do they drown sure. or do they fuck their house up? Both. Both. That's really sad. It's not great. The vibrator thing kind of makes sense. That's what I have. It's okay. Like, <clears throat> Earthquake every goddamn day. Well, yeah. Goddamn. Lexington, Kentucky. One show left to sell. I will be there this weekend. Pull up. August 15th is the last show that's not sold out. But the rest, Zanies and Nashville tickets are moving and grooving. Just added a six uh, show Thursday late night. That is August 29th through August 31st. Then I'm going to be in Tampa, Florida, September 20th through the 22nd. And then I'm going to be in Tempe, Arizona, October 11th through the 13th. All those tickets you can find on TrevorWallaceComedy.com. Check those out. And where can you see Michael Blaustein? Michael Blaustein Tour 2024. Heating up! August 23rd, I'll be in Gary, Indiana. Those tickets are going. August 24th, I'll be in Richmond. Very, very low tickets in Richmond. September 6th, this time, I'll be in Louisville, Kentucky. Those tickets are going. And then, going to UK, guys. September 18th, Glasgow, sold out. I love you guys. September 19th, Dublin, Ireland. Those tickets are going. September 20th, London. Very low tickets. September 21st, Bell Fast. First show sold out. Second show we just added. Manchester is sold out. I love you guys. September 27th to 29th, I'll be in Miami. October 11th to the 13th, I'll be in Irvine. October 17th, I'll be in Toronto. And many, many more dates on my calendar. Get tickets at blogcomedy.com. That is blogcomedy.com. On to the episode. Factor! Warmer, sunnier days are calling. Fuel up for them with Factor's no prep, no mess meal. I Listen, I'm going off script here because I use this every week, day every in week. and day out. It's a two-minute, fresh, never-frozen meal. It's beautiful. Dude, I use this. Uh, and, and me, I'm a, I'm a gluten-free man. Yeah. I'm better than most. Okay. Everything they send me, gluten-free. And it's phenomenal, dude. It's like... I love it because I get my carbs, I get my protein, and I get my veggies. But, but like, dude, if I were to try and make that today, say, I mean, it was an hour 47 dude, and something's burning. I woke up, no factor meals. You know what I had for breakfast? A rice cake with a little bit of peanut butter. That's what I had for breakfast. If I had freaking Slay. factors, yep. If I had factors, my life would be completely different. I ran out. I'm getting some very shortly, okay? With 35 different meals and more than 60 add-ons to choose from, dude, every freaking week, okay? You always have new flavors to explore. Crush your wellness goals this month with dietitian approved meals and ingredients that you can trust. And they got restaurant quality meals that feature premium ingredients like filet mignon, shrimp, and blackened salmon. It, dude, it's phenomenal. I got a salmon waiting for me and I can't wait to cook it up. I love a good some, Let's some go. fish, get some omegas in. And it's super easy, dude. Two minutes, bang, 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 Literally, with a fork, you're every done. Every single time. And you can also upgrade. You can get like protein shakes. You can do uh, like juices uh, or juice the wellness shots. shots. Yeah, wellness shots. Like it's really, cu- it's great. It's shipped right to your door. They use the the, the ice in the in the package, so it never goes bad. I keep and they, those. Oh, I'm so sorry. And they pre-select your meals, but you can you can switch them out whatever meals yeah. you want. So yeah. it's, it's so no mess, no fast is awesome. So head to factormeals.com slash socks50 and use code socks50 to get 50% off your first box plus 20% off your next month. Okay, that is code uh-huh. socks50 at factorsmeal.com slash socks50 and get 50% off your first box plus 20% off your next month while your subscription is active. Factormeals.com slash socks50. Goddamn. Well, it's just Did like, you, you feel know, the you know, earthquake? What? There was an earthquake in, uh, I don't know, actually yeah, where it was. It was. Did you feel it? Did you make it? Yeah. Hey, yo. No, I didn't. I was, <laughs> we, I was with my girl at the fucking dining room table, and it just started shaking. And this is how, like, like how California I've become. We felt it for three seconds. Like, oh, an earthquake. Oh, it's an earthquake. Earthquake. Yeah. And it was, were we going to go to breakfast? Yeah. Like, was bro, today? there was an earthquake. No, it was like, I don't know, like a week ago or something. But they like, yeah, for yeah. real, an earthquake. Like, the earth is shaking yeah like the earth ba ga 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 what if it's just shaking. using a vibrator the earth is just like that's what it is lonely. doing a little lonely a morning oh fuck or what if the earth's table's ready at cheesecake <laughs> <laughs> what is that the earth is shaking i don't know what's the center of the earth 
The dri- like it is in my head. It's a hot uh, b- ball bearing. Did you say? Uh, yeah. What's in the center? Oh, Lava. the Tootsie Roll pop. No, but go ahead. Did you ever dig in the sandbox in uh, like elementary school? And say I'm going to China. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> and I got to China one time. COVID. <laughs> 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 why, why do we believe that? Why don't people correct us? What do you mean? Why don't people correct us? It's not China on the other side of the sandbox. Is it? What? It's a good no. A good question. If you burrow to the center of the earth from America, is it China on the other side? No, because you'll die by the um, right. But 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 you know what I'm saying. Directly, but is, China, is China directly under from Los Angeles? Are, are we? I don't know, are we? Are we? Are we opposite? You, you know, know what I'm, we're no we're asking. Yeah. It's got to be. What is this, an old wives' tale? Who is that old wife bitch that always made up shit? Old wives' tale? Yeah, old wives' tale. I don't know. Old wives' Just riffing, tale. Lion, tail, ass. There you go. What, what do you think is the weirdest term to describe like you got some last night? I got some tail last night. Shut the hell up. Yeah. What do you know, Zark? Maybe. Ooh, tail. Bah. Bro, why, bah, he, why? Brought, he brought goats on there. Yeah. Fuck goats. Give me throats. <laughs> why are rabbits hot? I'm going to let you sit in that. No, I'm going to sit in it. Playboy? Every fucking every That's Playboy true. bunny, Lola bunny, Lola is that her bunny. name, Bang. Lola bunny, but no, so hot. But but why? But why are rabbits like Playboy's like oh Playboy rabbit bun, or bunny ears? Why are bunnies hotter than rabbits? Are rabbits dudes? What, what's the difference? I don't I don't know if there's any difference. But if you say if you say oh I'm a hot rabbit, you're like get the fuck out of you rabbit? truck driving bitch. <laughs> but, if, but if you're like hi what's up I'm a bunny, like hey yo you got some fat tits I got this carrot for you. Oh Jesus. <laughs> well, what's like the what? What do you think animal gets like the most like head turns in the in like you, like the who, peacock? Who on Noah's Ark was like, oh shit? Oh, she got invited. True. Who invited? Oh god damn! You ever seen a girl lion? They Is that what cakes. it's called? No. S- what lioness? Uh, lioness. Thank is you, it? dude. Lioness is even hot. Lioness is bad, dude. Yeah. <clears throat> ask me who I'm dating. Who are you dating? Lioness. You'd be like, oh, who the fuck is that? That sounds hot. Lioness. Yeah. Lioness is hot. Why aren't more people named lioness? Um, I don't know. There's people named Kia. Linus Messi. <laughs> huh? I think his name's Linus Messi. No, uh, it's not. It's Lionel. Like a train. <laughs> but it's still, it? oh, it's still uh, about a lion, I'm pretty sure. Is it? He's oh, named Lionel. Lion. That's a name. Do you think the first person to name their kid Jesus after <laughs> Jesus was like, I don't know about that, man. 100%. <laughs> Those are big shoes to fill. 100%. <laughs> Dude, I mean, can you imagine looking imagine at Imagine naming a-, a kid today LeBron. <laughs> I you didn't live up time. to his legacy? You named your kid Kevin Durant? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I mean, those are, I mean, that's crazy. <sighs> Jesus? Oh, it's cool, though. But, like, as a kid, you're like, dude, how am I going to... I can't fill that role. No. You're, 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 you can't walk on water? Yeah, you're sniffing helium balloons in the back I'm of shitting, a Wawa. Yeah, I'm literally shitting in my pants right now. What is that? Isn't that funny? <laughs> Did Jesus ever jerk off? Did Jesus ever jerk off? Why was he a carpenter? <laughs> Tool belt. He could have done anything. Yeah, but it's a downplay, you know? It's like the hottest guy at the bar. You look at him, you're like, what do you do? He's like, hey, I just fish, uh, you know, I just, you know, I fix fish bowls. You're like, what? True. I just tune up fish bowls, but like, sup? You know what's crazy? Does someone out there, does someone out there have a table that was made from Jesus? Probably. Like an armoire that was made by Jesus? Yeah. Jesus was the first task rabbit. I was just thinking that. We should do a podcast. We actually should. Dude, he was literally the first. He went around to people's homes and fixed shit, or did he make tables? Yo, did he make his cross? Too much. <laughs> that's a good question. Or is he up there like, or was, that's what is he up there like this wood is shit? Or was, or was he like, yo, good craftsmanship? <laughs> All right. I'd be talking shit if I was up there. If I was Jesus? I that's... I would be talking hella shit. I'm like, ooh, you guys are going to be in trouble. <laughs> yep. What do you got? I'm just thinking. It's just like it's... He really took a bullet. That's he why took, people say took, Jesus died for our sins. He took three bullets. Well, he did. Nails. He did. He died for our sins. It's kind of sick. It's really sick. It's pretty cool. Would you do that? No. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't take a I wouldn't take a slap for one sin for anyone. <laughs> like legit, would you would y'all get hammered to a cross and put a th- uh, a crown of thorns on your head and you had to carry the cross for like a mile or whatever? Did he? Yeah. They made him carry it. Yeah. No help. No. Where's no. Noah and his fucking animals? <laughs> Different books. 
Widely different book. So many years difference. Oh, wow. I know. Yeah, but I wouldn't do it. No. Even if even if God, first of all, God is, the whole time, I'd be like, bro, I can walk on water. I can turn this fucking water into wine. The Red Sea. Different again. All right. <laughs> Who did that? Noah? Moses. Moses. Yeah. <laughs> Noah, Moses, and Jesus. Noah, Moses, and Jesus. That Moses like great, and Noah, like, same book. House. Jesus, different book. Imagine being so famous you create a new book. Yeah. The New Testament. Well, that was a flex back then. You get a New Testament or you're on a dollar bill. You're a coin. Like, if yeah. you're on a coin, that's got to be so cool. I would only pay with my dollar. If I, Let's say I'm on, like, a $5 Sick. bill. I'm only paying a $5 bill. I think you have to die. <laughs> oh, no. Is there someone that was alive that had a coin or a dollar bill? Not a dollar bill, right? But there's got to be any, someone. Any. There's got to be someone that was alive. Bro, you put me on a put me on the dime. I'm only paying in dimes. Oh, oh, this whole thing. Do when was the last time you used change? I don't think I have any. It's a good question. I don't know. Maybe for a meter. I, I keep a couple quarters in the car. I keep zero quarter. I, I don't. I don't think I own change. Where's change going? That's what I'm saying. Where's it going though? It should go in the trash. Do you know how many pennies I've thrown away? Like literally. One nickel, six pennies in the trash. Why? I don't want it. Put it on a table. For what? Someone else. No, but it was like it's already like in my house. Trash? Yeah, it's not good. Michael. I listen, I know. Just throwing away coins? I bet you if someone with a computer in this room Googled like how much change is thrown away, a lot. I guarantee you there's a number. How much money? Because I guarantee we can Google this. How much money do you think is thrown in the trash every year? Change. Globally? Uh, in, in America. A billion? A billion dollars, sir? The whole U.S.? Yeah. I don't know. What do you think? I think $2 million. Anyone? We're looking it up. Okay. $68 million. $68, $68 million. Dollars Americans in- may throw away up to $68 million in coins each year. You could have had $68 million. Isn't that crazy? God damn. This episode is brought to you by Prize Picks. What is Prize Picks? It's America's number one daily fantasy sports app with over 5 million active users. Huh? I mean, yep. it's also the easiest, most exciting way to play daily fantasy sports. Unlike other apps on Prize Picks, dude, you just you go against the numbers. It's so easy. All you do is go more or less on two to six players' stat projections and watch the winnings roll in, dude. More or less. Super easy. Dude. You don't even like sports, but you love this app because it's up, down. It's super, super easy. More or less. What's sick is you can now win up to 100 times your money on prize picks with as little as four correct picks. You can turn $100 into $1,000. That's crazy. And everybody with the finals over, the hoop action does not stop on prize picks. Your women's basketball is still heating up. Plus, football's starting up. Buddy Schiff said hike prize picks. And, dude, I'm a born-again Rams fan. I'm diehard. Yes. Number one Rammer. So I, you know I'm going to be out here doing some more, some less. Stafford up, down, left, right. Hot man. Just saw him. That's what I'm saying. Prize more or less. Prize picks is available in more than 30 states across the country, including California, Texas, and Georgia. And guess what? We're going to the Phillies game tonight. Yes, we so are. So we can pick yeah. Kyle Schorber yeah. to hit for more than... Three runs. More or less, Jack is punched by a Dodgers fan. There we go. Hopefully so, more. <laughs> so, everybody, download the Prize Picks app today and use code SOCKS for the first deposit match up to $100. That is code SOCKS on Prize Picks for a deposit match up to $100. Okay? Pick more, pick less. It's that easy. Goddamn. Dude, get a metal detector. These motherfuckers are going on the beach. You still you see them. I still see them. Go in the trash dumps. 68 mil. Trash metal dumps. detecting that's an activity where you are <laughs> far from your wife yes 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 if you say, what are you looking for wedding? honey uh i don't know a new wedding ring 100 percent. but if you go honey what are you doing today and he goes i'm gonna go to walmart and get a metal detector you are seven and a half months away from divorce <laughs> it's kind of fun metal detector. it's kind of i would do it it's like a live app you're like i think i think you're either close to divorce or close to suicide <laughs> Two. I mean, buddy, your life's off the rails if you're looking for spoons from the Civil War. Your life, your life is in shambles. You're not doing good. You know what's really funny is to break into somebody's house and start metal detecting like, their house. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got lost in the beach. But a metal detector, you can be anywhere. You can be on the beach. What if you're out there just staring at hits? On the beach? Yeah, metal detector. Beep, 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 beep. Oh, 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 oh yeah. Oh, here's what you do. Okay, give it to me. Oh, dude, you know what's funny? Oh, this is funny. 
I was at Target. Rewind well, that. Two, two, <laughs> two, two things here. Okay. What age do you get where you just start blatantly hitting on women? 61. Okay. Yeah. I was at Target. I'm walking past the pharmacy, and this guy's probably 53. Okay. Big dog t-shirt on, yep. large cargo pants. Got it. Hair is kind of prickly. You know what I mean? Yes. Like, it's still there. It's like, you know. But it's, it's, it's yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> and over here, and the girl working in the pharmacy is probably like 30-ish or something. Old. And he goes, you know. <laughs> Okay, Leo. He goes, uh, he goes, you know, I can't wait for if this. I was 40 years younger and I didn't hit on my, and, and I didn't have my wife, I would take you out on a date. And the guy's like, ha thank you. He's literally like, if I was not an old piece of shit and I didn't have a wife, I yeah. would hit on you. Yeah. Imagine if you're the wife hearing that. You're like, yeah, well, Seymour, you do. So was his wife there? No, but it's, oh. but he's by himself. Yeah. But imagine that. Guys, just, like this girl's just trying to scan him up for Zuratech. I don't know what the hell that is. It's also really confident in him that I would take you out on a date. Yeah. You have to ask for her to say yes first. If I was 40 years younger, I would take you on a Come on now. There take is something. There is something. I don't know what it is, but I think it's like before everyone had apps, like maybe 10 years before everyone had apps, that they are so used. That's how they used to pick up women. So it's used. They still do it. They still need to like practice. Yeah. We don't, I don't, I haven't talked to a woman in life, like fresh talk to a woman in, in life in years. Walk up to a stranger yeah. and say, hello, I'm yeah. Michael. Huh? <laughs> what? Okay. What do you mean? Do you need a dollar, Just, Michael? Like, Get out of here. Like, text you throw me this way too? It's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. I, I saw, dude, I brought up, I saw you do it. What? Yeah, we were at the improv, and okay. I was but, I was over the moon impressed. And I know that she just saw you do comedy, so there's a little it's a little different. But, but what are you trying to say? No, 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 no. I do it. I still give you so much I'm props. Kidding, I know it's a little different than like walking up to someone like cold turkey at a CVS right, right, right. and be like, "Hey, whoa, tits." Yeah, well, you got to riff. You, I don't know what you say. You're riffing on like whatever they have. Yeah, they're, they're at you know righted, <laughs> and they're buying like anti plaque toothpaste, and you're like, ah. Teeth. You go, oh, oral. I like it. <laughs> oral B. Come on now. Uh, yeah, <laughs> That's it's just, funny. I just, I always feel like I'm bothering somebody if I yeah. start conversations with them. Dude, I see people, like when I used to go to the gym, motherfuckers would walk up to women at the gym. They are trying to work out. She has a hat and fucking earphone and sunglasses on. Yeah. Well, she wants worst, to have a conversation. The worst is when, I think when guys try to give like workout advice, like that's doing something. Yeah. Uh, you're you're going to hurt your knees. Not that you're not going to do that tonight. Hey, I'm wrong. She <laughs> said, I'm wrong. <laughs> I just feel like, you know, you know what, where you could, where you could get in is if, if a guy hits on a girl and then she's like, yeah, okay. Then you walk up to her and be like, I saw that coming a mile away. Yeah. That's a creep. What a weirdo. What a weirdo. Anyways. Anyways, yeah, trying to pipe Oral B. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You ride off his coattails. Yeah, man, that guy's a piece of shit. Man, I hate when guys, like I've had guys come up to me and do that, and I'm like, bro, like I'm just trying to work out. You get it, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Then you do that. Like, I heard there's a steam room here. Yeah, you gotta sit in it. Steam room. You ever walk up to someone? And I heard there's a steam room. Here. <laughs> what? Ask, is there a steam room here? <laughs> no, I heard. I, I heard don't know why it's so funny here. to walk up to someone at a random place. Do you ever go in saunas? Do I ever? Yeah. Yeah, I went into one two days ago. How long do you last in there? Uh, About 10 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. I can't do anything longer than that. I'm breathing in volcano. Yeah, it, it's, it's, Ow! it's hot. Yeah. It's Ow! weird. Dude, I did. I went to uh, Morongo Casino. Guys, thank you everyone for coming out to the show. It's so fun. Morongo! Hey! But I went there and they had a... Um, Oh, they, casinos have nice gyms. They do. They had a, uh, what's it called? Like a spa or whatever. Ooh, and they let me do ooh. the amenities. I didn't do any of the, like, the massage treatments or whatever, but they had me do the amenities. They had a, a steam room, sauna. Why didn't you uh, do the amenities? I didn't want a massage. Sometimes I don't want a massage. Don't touch me. I don't know. I'm weird. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes don't touch me. Other times touch me. I don't know. Super weird. But I, but they had a uh, 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 fucking ice. I want to say ice box. What is it? Ice, ice bath. bath. Bitch. Oh, nice. Oh, Did so you do that fun. before the show? Yeah. The ice bath? Well, I, I did. I did hot, cold, hot, cold, and it, it was so, dude. It was. An if hour. I work out on the road before a show, it's night and day how I feel up there. Yeah, because I always sleep like shit in hotels and Airbnbs, and I'm always like at eighty. It feels like, you know, when you charge your phone with like a, a cord from like a kiosk or an airport. Yep. And you're like, it's charged, but what is, is it? That? It's a weak charge. It's like a limp dick charge. It's like, yeah. <laughs> 
But when, I, but like when I work out on the road, I feel like I'm USB C to the dick. Like I'm like yeah. like, like, yeah. like that thick cord. Yeah, like, and, like, and it's to the top. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You look at the I'm, I'm at like 115 <laughs> percent. You go, huh? Dude, yeah. it's so charged up. It starts airdropping charges to other people. You don't even know what. Yeah. You know, so six so, percent, eight yeah. percent. Yeah. And I'm so dumb that I'm like, why don't I work out before every show? That's what Segura does. Every show, he's yeah. like, I don't give a fuck. Get me to a gym. Yep. Give me to a gym. Yeah. Well, because when you land, just, yeah. dude, when you land, the last thing you want to do is fucking work out. And then you wake up, you're on the wrong time zone, you wake up, travel is sucking, yeah, you wake yeah, up, yeah. and then you wake up at 2 p.m. Well, and yeah. you got to do sound check at 5. What are you going to do, work out? No, I need to jerk my dick and get a goddamn triple espresso. Yeah, jerking off might be the worst thing you can do, but the, worst. the best thing. You, it, it's the best thing in the moment, the worst long run. Because in my head, I, I, I mean, I treat comedy like it's boxing. I'm like, I can't jerk off before. I get to save all my testosterone for the stage. I get that. Do you do that? Well, I'm. It's it's odd because I was on that. Now I'm super off it because one time I was so horned up I jerked off and then I murdered that night. So I go, well, I guess I'm jerk off guy nice. now. That oh, is nice. Then I'm like, oh, I'm just, it's, I'm nice. more loosey goosey. Ooh. Oh, you might like this. Go ahead. You know how uh, if it comes out of your mouth, I'll love it. <laughs> Kiss me. <laughs> you know how we both have a a really weird um... dick. <laughs> yes. What is this? Mine looks like a Tetris piece. Bing, bing, yeah. bing. Mine's like a screw. Tetris like, is so boring. Fit Tetris these blocks. Tetris is fun. Fit these Te blocks. Tetris is fun. Okay, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, it you ever play ever Twister played. growing up? Yeah, my <laughs> babysitter played. Touch me, bitch. Goddamn. This next ad is brought to you by us. us. Trevor Walsh and Michael Blaustein. Us, guys. You, you know, some people listen to this podcast and they go, uh, I wish I had more. That was yep. the best hour 20 I had in my life. Yeah. Where can I get more? Every, Where? Every Friday, we put out a brand new episode. Yeah, we do. Like, I don't think you get it. Like, the episode you just listened to yep. today, uh -huh. there's a whole other one of that every Friday. And there's a back catalog of, like, what, three, three and a half, I mean, four years of this? So many, dude. And it's, I don't know, $5? A month. Five dollars a month, you get four extra episodes. Five dollars a month, free. There's zero ads. Dude, that's how much you tip a damn barista in this damn economy. Sick barista, of it. no. Patreon.com/backslash/stiffsockspod. Yes, or, and and you get access to the Discord. Discord. You get access to uh, uh, there's a community uh, in there. It's a whole like written joke. You, you get merch. You get exclusive merch. You get early merch shop. You get early tickets. You get our live streams. You get our live. You streams, get our live dude. streams. And if you want, don't want to go to Patreon.com/backslash/stiffsockspod because you're not a Patreon user. You can do Apple. It's on okay? Apple. It's on Apple. You swipe your face, boom, boom. You it just pops. go to a podcast where you would normally listen to it. Yep. At the very top, you'll see a button, and you can try it for free for a month. That's it. So, guys, Binge everything. go on patreon.com backslash stiffsockspod or on Apple. It really helps support your boys. So, go do that, and you get an extra episode every freaking Friday ad free. So, go do that. We love you guys. On to the rest of the episode. Goddamn. Dude, Twister's so fun. Dude, Twister's like, Twister's right, like, it was right before you got your dick touched at all. And then you just like you're like you're on like another yeah. woman, dude. Here's what you is do. this what sex is? You're yeah. like eleven. It's so fun. Right hand on pussy. <laughs> it is a crazy <laughs> game. Just sprawl out on this, and the material is that like warm kind of sticky plastic. Yeah, it would yeah. Stick to your skin. A yeah. Bit. Is there? A, is oh yeah? There's like nudie mm. twister, right? Like uh, oh, there's gotta be. What's it called? Not nudie. Is it take your clothes off. Strip, 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 Thank you. strip, twister. Yeah, you ever play strip poker? I played it one time, no. and uh, people wear too much clothing. Really? Yeah. Was there? There's like was a, it all guys? No. Oh, I wish it was. No, but like. So how does that work? I want to do strip um, slot machine. Every time you don't hit top off. Oh God. Well, naked, naked. Oh yeah, naked uh, so fast. Uh, Twister, Naked uh, Twister. Te Tetris. I was gonna say you're gonna yes. like this. You know how both of us are superstitious, really yes. superstitious. Yes. Like if I wear a shirt and the show doesn't go well, if Burn I should it. wear a pair of shoes and I didn't like the show. Burn them. I was in Portland and yeah. all the shows phenomenal. Yeah. But I think there was one show where the energy was like a little, like it was just calmer, you know. And it was still a great show. But in my head, I added another shirt in my backpack. I'm about to change, and then my buddy Cole's like, "Break the stereotype. Go out there, have a great show. Same shirt." Did it. Great show. Yeah. I've been in my head this whole time. Yeah. I'm over here like, oh, these vans are cursing. No. I know. That's just life. I know. And I didn't change, and I'm glad it didn't, because it was like the best show of the weekend. Yeah, I, I, I'm I, very proud of you for doing that. Also, uh, I usually don't like to wear new clothes on stage. Yeah, of course. And there's, whatever months ago, I bought these new, uh, I bought these new uh, uh, Jordan 1s, and I was like, I, I'm scared to wear them, but I like them with the outfit, whatever. 
fuck it. Who cares? And I did it and had a great show and I had the same experience. I said, man, it's not real. Yeah. The superstition not shit's not real. Not real. No. And it, then it's just, it's free. You can wear a Home Depot box up there and people will be like, I love this guy. Yeah. We need to pay more for his tickets. This guy's poor as shit. <laughs> He's wearing a box? Home Depot boxes aren't cheap. No. When, you're, when you're moving, you got to buy boxes. Bro, moving might Dude. be the most tedious thing. It's the worst. I just, are you a put shit in a box and put it in a hefty bag and figure it out later? Um, I'm going to put I, antiques in a goddamn Ziploc. I'm like, it'll get it. It'll get there. I'm a, I'm a box guy. Mm. I will say the last time I moved, I was on the road. So I like paid people to do it. Holy fuck. I got off the road, you, went into my back. new apartment. And I was like, I mean, you have to put well, everything away and right, shit, which but, is annoying. But also your situation was so fucked. You're, so like, fucked. you're living in like two Airbnbs at once. Bro. There's a hole in in the roof of your. Yeah, place. everyone. I hope I don't know if you guys remember. It was it was a nightmare, dude. Yeah. Si seven months of a massive hole in my roof. Lived in. You ever get drunk and look at that hole? Hey, hey, look dude. at them wood beams. I'm wooded up too. Uh, yeah, but but then yeah, then I had to go. I went to a hotel for two weeks, yeah. then an Airbnb for like three months, and another Airbnb for another. I never was, talked about. Oh, it. Your new place is so sick. Nap oh, dude, thank you, man. It's got like. It's just everything you want. It's got a lot of lighting in it. Yeah. Brightness. So, dude. I love it. Oh, dude. Really? I want to sleep in the darkest room possible, but when I wake up, I want to be like, ah, so, so, dude, but that's but that's what my the, the bedroom gets me because it has the floor to ceiling windows with the view, but when I close the, the black curtains, what are they called? Blackout black curtains. Black curtains. Nothing. Dark as shit. Then you open it up, you go, oh, the light comes in, yeah. sucked off by a lioness. It's a great time. <laughs> yeah. It's a great time. It is. Dude, yeah, it's uh, it was you, the only you place in an apartment where you can sit on the balcony and go, yeah, man, we're really doing it, kid. Yeah, you know? dude, I've done, city... many, I've done it many night. You just look out, you go, wow, man, this is fucking cool. I've said it so many times out loud. My girlfriend's like so annoyed at this point. I go, man, I like this place. I say it all the time. I like this place. I'll just be like getting water, but at my house, I'm like, I fucking love. Yeah, it's fun. It's a good. Off place. come jokes. It is. It is. In, it is insane. I mean, there's a lot that went into it. But, yeah. But um. I mean, cool. bomb me for eight years straight, but yeah, it's it's kind of it's kind of crazy to sit on a couch and be like, "Yo, come made this couch." <laughs> yeah, and statistically speaking, there's come on that there's couch. There's one hundred percent come on the couch, one hundred percent. Because Mike, Beautiful I got place, a deep man. couch. You deep can couch. fuck on it, dude. You can what is fuck it? the couch. I would, but dude, what is it about couches? Like different places you fuck. They just you find different positions. It's insane. I know it's a weird thing. Not a weird. I know it's like a very obvious. Well, it's like when you go to the gym, you're like, whoa, what does this machine do? Bitch! That's what I'm saying. And then all of a sudden, you're like looking at this chair right here, and you're like, whoa. Yeah. We can do it, standing it, 69 on it, here. It just puts you in different positions, dude. Standing 69 is the funniest thing to ever walk in on. No, you know what's going to see? You know, you know <laughs> you know, and she's upside down. You, no. you don't drop her, dude. But here's the thing: what what's what what's, is she looking at? What's she's funnier? an upside down view of the dog staring at you. <laughs> but what's funny? What if you what if you walk in on your uh, on your uh, son and he's being held, uh -huh. like his girlfriend's holding your son? Oh, like he's going down on her, but getting topped off. I'm honestly just impressed he can stay hard while being upside down. Me too. Because blood goes to your head, not that one. Yeah. <laughs> can you even? Is it? It's probably way hard to stay hard, hard when you're upside down. Those BDSM guys, no way. Yeah. I mean, if you put your mind to it. Are we yeah. googling that, Jack? Oh yeah, but I don't want to <laughs> show it. What? You don't want to show it? Shut up! It's your screensaver, you fucking liar. <laughs> <laughs> is that bad? You can't show it, or is it? Is it horny? You don't have hours? to show it. Just is it? Is it? Is it possible? Yes, it's very possible. <laughs> but like, I just is it harder? The, the height it... dynamic. Like, if you're taller than her, your head is just on the ground. Yeah, I never had that problem. I'm five eight. I got no. Here we go. God, dude, I'm telling you, this, this is not, no, 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 no guys. Enough, this bro, not, what is he like diving for apples down there, <laughs> bro? <laughs> What a funny position. That's got to be called something else. That's got to be called like the wheelbarrow. <laughs> Nothing? Have you ever been held by your girl? What do you mean? I don't know. Like just You were just saying like, I'm 5'8". Aren't you 5'9"? Yeah. We'll round up. 7'3". But have, uh, like, does she little spoon you? Big spoon you? Yeah. Isn't it nice? It's so nice. You know, I was literally, I was held last night. We were watching... We're watching, uh, I was playing one of Game of Thrones. What's it? Dragon Bitches. House of Dragons? House of Dragons, thank you. I heard it was terrible. By it way. was awful. Really? Um, the, whole, the, the whole show was, or the new episode? So the last episode was eight. Seven was unbelievably good. And then eight was fine. And the rest of the season was horrible. In my, in my opinion. Anyone else see it? Hate it? Love it? 
Did I've you see it? I haven't seen it, I, but I heard it was good. Really, Jack? Did you hear? Did you? No, I don't watch that stuff. Why? You too busy porn humming it up. What yeah. do you watch? Uh, what do I watch? I watch besides sports. Do sports, you watch any? No. Like, probably not. No. Do you watch any uh, TV? TV, The Boys. Fuck you. I know. Yeah, I don't know, man. I was watching Love on the Spectrum again. I love that show. <laughs> Dude, it is. No, it's show. great. Dude, the editor. It's so good. Oh, man, the, it, it, it's a beautiful show. Is it? Wait, which one are you watching? Are you watching the Netflix one? Yeah. What other one is there? I don't know. Isn't there an Australian one and then an they're, Americanized one? They're both one? on Netflix. Okay. Are you watching the Australian one or the Americanized one? I was watching the American one last night. Yeah, dude. God. It's so great. It's so good. That show makes me cry. Oh, my God. It's so Because they're so wholesome. And I just I just want them to find love, man. Yeah. Just because they deserve it so much. Absolutely. God damn it. And the, want... and the, the beautiful part is like they know exactly what they're looking for. Yeah. Like I'll watch them like live on a speed date and he's like, do you like this? What is this? How about you feel about that? And then if they don't check it, it's like, mm, I'm out. I'm Good. out. Good. I'm out. Why not? I'd rather be alone. Yeah. There, There is a guy in there who, I think his name, I forget, Michael maybe, but he loves Thomas the Train Engine and he goes. Thomas the Train Engine? Thomas the, what is it? Tank Engine. You, why, would, why do you know it? I have a little brother. Huh? <laughs> Thomas the Tank Engine. It he loves, loves it. it. Yeah. And that's his opening question. And, you know? Bro, here's the thing, man. You know? I like certain things as much as Thomas yeah. Tank Engine. He likes Thomas Tank Engine. I like Pussy. The same exact level. You know? But immediately out of the gate, that's his question. And, you know, that's good. I think that's what dating should... It's I so like hot that. I think that's what dating should be in 2024. You sit down. Yep. How do you feel about Sudoku? When was the last time you had a Slim Jim? Boom, boom, boom. So, can I ask you this? Yeah. So, what is your version of the Thomas Tank Engine question if you had to sit down and ask a woman? Do you like your job? Oh, that's a great one. And they go... Mm, no, I hate my job, but it works. I go, get out. <laughs> get out. But if I'm like, do you like your job? Yeah, I love my job. Oh, oh. oh it's great. Oh, isn't that funny? It's great. You're like 22, you're like, I don't, it's tits and ass. Yeah, hell yeah. And then you're, you know. An adult? Yeah. Yeah. You're like, what are you, yeah, I because, love your because, job? Because, dude, because we're, we're, here's the thing, dude. This is kind of crazy to say. We're looking for a life partner. Yeah. Like, for life. Like, I'm looking for someone right now who I, f I found them, but it's like, uh -huh. yeah, I really have. I fucking love her. Two years. Do you want to be my wife? 100%. Don't cut that. Put it higher. I don't even know how you elevate that. It doesn't matter. You start the intro with that? Yeah. So, yeah. God damn. God damn. But no, but like you're like you're right now, right? You're looking for your life partner. You're looking for someone that you're going to be metal detecting in 38 years. <laughs> like, that's what you're currently looking for. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. It's like you meet someone at a bar and you like get some drinks. You guys have riffs. And then in 41 years, you're playing golf and she's texting you and you and you you go, what the fuck? 41 years. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. You're going to be like in the hospital and she's going to be pushing a fucking kid out. Her third one. My wife could cheat on me if she could promise me that the kid is going to accomplish something. Uh, yeah, like, but that's such that's, a that's, a, that's, a, that's, that's a, a loose term. term. Accomplish something? What is he coloring the lines on a macaroni grill? No, I'm saying like if if like so, run for if, Congress? Yeah, like if if my wife cheats on me, oh, and, and, and has and, and has a baby, and the, and you can and she can look at me and promise me that this kid is gonna like be like a first round draft pick for the fucking Baltimore Orioles. Fine. That's what your first round draft pick goes for. I don't know. I was trying to think of something funny to say besides mm. like the fucking Washington Commanders or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, like but a I, smart baby, like a super, like if Elon Musk banged my girl. No, because then he's hitting you and be like, mm, good morning, father. Remember when mother <laughs> yeah. sucked another man's tit and dick? Still trying to figure out the mortgage, huh? Like, you're one. You're one. You're fucking one. <laughs> Are pacifiers just fake tits? Yes. That's so cool. So, is it, so if your wife has a fake tit, so she just, like, ooh, if a wife has a fake tit, is a pacifier not okay or better? I'm lost. Why don't pacifiers look like tits? It's a great question. They're just like the 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 tit. They're just the tip of it. The nip. Yeah, I'm gonna have my kid hold a tit. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> How big was the tit? Like a bot, like a like a bottle's gonna look like a a boob. You can do that. Well, they It'd have the so they, funny. They have the bras that like the the. The dads can wear? Yeah. Shut look, the well, fuck well, up. Look up, because you can have- Shut up! Or like if you're babysitting, you, you breastfeed like with that. It's like supposed to be like a rack. It's like, oh, this is your mom's. And it's the mom's breast milk. You pump through it. What? Yeah, I put Franzia in there. What would you put in there? Franzia. Bag one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, come on. Me, me and the old mistress. Kids get getting hammered. Oh, I'm doing it to myself. Just sitting at the desk. Like, 
All those reports to you in five. <laughs> like a camel, or whatever the fuck. Yeah, exactly. Wrong. Dude, you can bring that into a festival. <laughs> Filled up with some jungle juice. What? What is Motherly. This? Yeah, the male breast. Wait, what is it? The ma- oh, Jesus Christ. These male breastfeeding devices are paving the way for breastfeeding dads. Good. Imagine being on a Zoom call with your tits out. <laughs> What is that? That looks it too looks like, it looks like a robot. ring camera. Yeah, it does. <laughs> It'd be funny if there's a camera on that. Dude, what I love how they this? I love how they try to make it look all like sleek and like modern. That one's cool. This one looks legit. That one actually That looks that like coffee. Got, like, well, but like the bottom oh, these are bottles. The bottom one got like kind of like a little bit of Those, slope to oh, it. Oh, that's what I'm like, thinking. Like it got a little natural tit to it. That's what I'm thinking. I want to drink my coffee out of that. You can. In the morning? Yeah. That'd be good because you can like microdose your coffee. Because you're not drinking all the coffee at once, you're like nibbling on it. That is a good idea. Yeah, that's good. I always wanted a hamster water by my bed growing up. <laughs> that's a good idea. <laughs> yeah, because you just want a little bit of water. Sometimes your mouth is just dry. You're like, I don't want to drink in the toilet. I have to pee in the middle of the night, but I want a little loop, loop Bro, up my mouth. How mad do you get when you have to pee in the morning? I mean, the morning in the middle of the night. I don't Furious. do that a lot, dude. It 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 happens when I have when I have late sets. So yeah, I like drink yeah. an entire bottle of water and then like and then whatever Actually, an hour and a half later I go to sleep. That's what happens. And then it's like four fifteen in the morning. And I'm like, I, I'm awake now. I'm awake. Do you now. do the shit where you like close one eye and you only yes. open the other one? Because yes. if both of them are open, now you're suddenly awake. I have night lights in my bathroom. It's really nice because it has this lit, this is a really, really dim bathroom, so I can see, so I don't fucking fuck myself yeah. up. But it's nice. That makes so it sense. doesn't it doesn't like fully fully oh, get me. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, yeah. Some people have lights in the toilet. I saw that. It's cool. I want to warm my uh, my my what uh, toilet up, toilet seat. Yeah, Why that, that warm? Dude, New York, a lot of these hotels and a lot of places have like uh, heated floors in the bathroom. I know. And you're like getting out of the shower. And I'm like, man, my piggly wigglies are warm. Hot. You're making bacon, grilled cheese. Uh, my girl's parents' bathroom, sh- whatever the fuck. Why in your girl's parents' bathroom? <laughs> <laughs> you know, sometimes you gotta look for Q-tips. Just joking. They were out of town, so we showered in their place. Dude, <laughs> what? That's crazy. How is that crazy? There's all the showers in the house, and you use the parents' <laughs> no, because shower that, because, because their shower is crazy, and it has like it has a steam room in the shower. No, you what? still can't. <laughs> it's still weird. Think yeah. about the uh, the dichotomy. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I just want to use a big word, but isn't that weird? No, uh, that's weird. Is it? Yes. Is it weird that I that I lick the walls? <laughs> No, but it it's weird. I think most people would would say that they never showered and their girlfriends parents. I hear you. Can I say this? You guys are all correct, but I will say the only thing that I have going for me in this scenario mm. is that they have like the steam room is in what their the shower. Fu- what do you mean steam room in the shower? It's it's a shower, but also it's a steam room. Okay, so when you explain it to me, you did nothing. Uh this the so okay. So imagine like a normal, room. a normal shower with like glass, like a glass box, right? So take whatever's in your head, times it by two and a half. It's a big, big glass box with a shower, with two shower heads, and hey. say that all, that also doubles. That is kind of nice. You have a double shower head. Your wife's like, it's yeah. too hot, it's too cold. Yeah, you're like, yeah. don't care. Well, because my like girl, when... my girl doesn't like. I like super hot showers. She likes like medium, but the medium to me is like almost cold. So yeah. it's nice. It was like she likes the medium cold. I like the hot, whatever. But so, and then it turns into a steamer. You like boop, 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 and turn the glass box into a steamer. Uh, it has like little like vents on the bottom. Okay. So we did the steam room first, and then we showered. Did you yeah. sit down? Yeah. Oh no. Yeah, 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 yeah. Even yeah. if that shower could suck you off, you still shouldn't go in your parents. It's just it's girlfriend. weird to think because it's just like there's a I lot of you. like uh, yeah. there's probably some things that happen in there. Yeah. It feels like you're now Eskimo brush with the pants. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I am. hundred percent. Okay, here's the thing. You guys are all right. You guys are all right. Hold on. Am I? Already? <laughs> <laughs> what? Because she came out of my out of her dad's box. No. Oh. And her mom's cooler. So, so low key, you're kissing her dad's balls when you kiss her. <laughs> yes. Sus. It is sus. It's sus and it makes me harder. <laughs> you know, I'd have to see the shower. But it feels... <laughs> <laughs> but it feels... Mis- it feels scandalous. Like if I'm the, it is, it is, but it if is, I'm it the is, parents is, and I find out my daughter and her boyfriend are in is. the shower, I'm like, what the fuck? It is. Because did, did y'all... <clears throat> 
in the shower. Crazy. <laughs> That's insane. <laughs> Dude, I actually did something super cute. I put our like a in the steam. I put like our initials and shit, and I actually did. Fit. Yeah, then you came all over it. I uh, maybe no, but I actually I was like, oh god, the, the parents shit. are gonna see this once the steam fucking comes back. So they're gonna know we've been here. God. Do they know that they use their, their shower? I don't know if we ever like explicitly told them, but but like, I don't think. Holy I don't. Shit. I don't think it. I don't think in their like Whew. ecosystem it matters. Yeah, but it's like sleeping in your parents' bed. Dude, I, I'm I'm on board. The way you guys feel about this, yeah, I understand, and I'm on board with this for sure. Yeah. For sure. Have you guys ever used your parents' bedroom as for sex? Not my parents. Um. No. But my high school, when high school girlfriend, that's where uh, was the first time we ever hooked up. Parents' room, and I came quick. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Broad daylight, and then I worked to shift at a yogurt land. <laughs> it was fucking unreal. That's awesome. Come quick, give a little yogurt, sell a little yogurt. <laughs> what was wrong with your room? It was weird, just at her her place. Oh, her okay. parents were like That's at work or something. But what was wrong with her place or her room? She had like a twin bed. Oh lord. Yeah. Yeah, I never. But but I but like, I always I honestly feel weird going into like a parent's room. It is to weird. this day. I also feel right. weird. I also feel weird, and I think we talked about this before. I think you're on board with me. I always feel weird, like. Opening the refrigerator too. It always feels so. Their weird. refrigerator. Say again. Their refrigerator. Yeah. Yeah. But is it? But like some people are well, so comfortable with just opening fridge. I'm like, how the? What are you doing? It feels like you're like just. I mean, you're obviously part of the family now, but it does feel like you're like, oh, what y'all got going on in here? It's, like, I didn't it's pay very like mutra energy. It's, you know? Yes. I also didn't, dude. I still to this day like I'm still like, hey, can I? And they like make fun of me, but I still have to ask. Yeah. Like I'm gonna. Can you mind if I grab my water? They're like, oh no, we're so mad if you grab water. Like they mess with me. Yeah. I, yeah but yeah. but it's like you can have whatever you want in my house. But once you ask, it feels like, oh, dude, take whatever. But yeah. if you just walk in and start grabbing shit, I'm like, it's crazy. Cause I, yeah, right. cause I don't give, I would give everyone in this room everything I had in the fridge. But if just ask, that you have to ask. Yeah. Like with you, I will ask, and I know the answer is yes. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. I will ask. It's insane. I don't. I didn't pay one dollar for anything in that fridge. The funny is when people are already eating. You mind if I get a bite of this? <laughs> crazy. You're halfway through my cherries, bitch. <laughs> and you're spitting the seeds on the ground, you fucking cow. <laughs> Yeah. Fun. Wild. Wild. God damn. God damn. You guys were asking questions earlier. If oh, yeah. we dug right now to the other side of the globe, yeah. we would be in the Indian Ocean between Africa and Australia. So, so <laughs> when yeah, did you start nice. digging, does water start seeping in, and I'm just a gopher now? <laughs> well, actually, I have that up if you guys want to watch that. Well, watch oh, what? Hold on. Let's, let's, let's finish, let's finish one at a time. Water let's, thing. As as, I don't want to watch that, dude. I do. Whoa. <laughs> Fuck these guys. They're destroying my yard. It's their yard. They were there first. Oh, really? What a do they pay rent? Say. Do they pay rent? <laughs> they don't have to. They were there first. I don't care. Colonialism. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yeah, but dude, they... they say no, they, no. But, but dude, they're literally like dolphins. They like come up, they burrow, pop a hole, and dig another hole. If it was one hole, great. I don't care. I'll get drunk, jam things in it. Yeah. You get it. But now it's like seven different holes in one spot. Okay. <laughs> Fun. It just looks, I don't know. Wow, the longest hole is only seven meters, or seven miles long. What? Dover down. hole? They've only dug oh, seven miles That's down. pretty far. You think? Dug seven miles? That is so far, sir. Yeah, but you would think we, with the technology, we could get all the way through. Yeah, but what, what, what are, are they, they even, digging what are for? They doing? I don't know. How do they get out? I think they just made it to make it. See but yeah, what's what's go. the are, are they doing it to see how like old the earth is or some shit? You know how they like take soil and they're like, oh, this soil is eight billion. How the fuck do you know? How, Fossils. Like, how do you know? Dinosaur bones. Like, yeah, this is two point three seven BCs. Before Where Christ, is your you wife? know how fucking cool you are to like time yeah. is distinguished by you before, before Christ. Before me, after me. What do you think the modern day version of that would be? Something to do with the Paul brothers, <laughs> <laughs> like BJP. Is that yeah, yeah. before Jake Paul? Or? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Probably Mr. Funny. Beast. If Mr. Yeah. Beast should run for president for real, he should. Yeah, isn't he like twenty-two years old? I think he's like twenty-seven. That's fucking nuts. So crazy. Does he have a girlfriend? He does. Good. He's got a girlfriend. Um, Mr. Beast is twenty-six. Twenty-six. Oh, shit. That's kind of crazy. And he has like a team of like a hundred people that work for him. Like your boss is twenty-six. That's so sick. 
That's so cool. It's like you just get fired by an airdrop. Open <laughs> up your phone. You're fired. What the fuck? Um, yeah. Dude, apparently I was watching this and um, uh, he's he does a vlog with Howard Mandel. He has, so he's a compound in North Carolina and that's where his house, he just lives in the compound. He li Like his room is there. That's so cool. Is it? But like, don't you want to get away from it for a second? I mean, he's always yeah. traveling and he's fucking loaded so he can kind of do whatever. But like, it's crazy you wake up and then there's some PA running through the halls. Like, we need more Celsius. <laughs> get out of my hallway. Here's the thing though. I think it is cool if you're just he's just working his balls off to yeah, stack until he's like definitely. thirty and he's like goodbye. Listen, if if this studio had a bed, that'd be great. On those like long days where you're like just churning and burning the midnight oil. Oh god, that that'd be nice. be nice. That would be nice. When we signed the lease here, do you remember they were like had such hard stipulations on no one living here? We're like, who? <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, that's what we need. There's no shower. What yeah, but, dude, I've been here at like two in the morning before. I don't. Nobody's roaming. No, you could live here for a minute. Isn't that crazy? Maybe I should do that. Yeah. Pay so much in rent. Fuck it. Just live here. Yeah. What's wrong? There's a, you could leave here perfectly. The only thing is there's no shower. If there's a bathroom in here, there like if it's if it's right if it's a last place, yeah. Good. Well, that last place was a had room. a shower. Yeah. yeah. Like literally was a, was a well, that was that was his stipulation too. He can't live here. Like yeah, I only live here. You're a fucking nuts. Okay. So. Yeah, but like also it's my rent. What's the difference? I don't know. Isn't it funny that if you got there at four in the morning, it's fine. But if you slept there and woke up at four in the morning, problem. Yeah, you leave for five minutes, come yeah. back. I don't live here. I live in my house. I mean, what? I counted a few sheep and Rules are hilarious. You can't live here. Why? I don't know. It is It is insane. You know what I'm saying? It's borders. This is Iowa. This is Idaho. Yeah. Who the fuck did this? Lewis and Clark? <laughs> fuck Yeah, line. what we saw there is theirs was dumb as hell. It was like three. Oregon country. North. <laughs> The North Pole, the <laughs> North Pole. What's on What's on the bottom? South Pole. I'm dumb as shit. That was a real question. Yeah. Is the South Pole cold? <laughs> so both poles are freezing. <laughs> the hell's that? Yeah, because the closer you are to the equator, the hotter it is. What's the South Pole really cold though? Called. Santa's Antarctica. Surf surface? Hey. Really? Yeah. Hold on. So South. So Santa. What if the Earth Antarctica? just started rotating the other way one day? That's that's a theory that might happen soon. They say that um oh, the Earth everyone. is slowing down. Good. Slowing down. It has I'm been so sick of this. tracking for a minute. I'm so sick of this. For the last Do we years, rotate around? Oh, be careful. Blah blah blah. We rotate around the sun, right? Yes. Everybody does. <laughs> Everybody. <laughs> we used to think. But all the other planets. Oh oh yeah yeah. <laughs> it's like. Yeah. yeah. You know. We used to think everyone rotated around the Earth. That's what scientists used that's to. It's pretty be. conceited of us, but I agree. I know. No planets got people. Huh? No planets got people. It's kind of crazy. None. Venus is just out there. Venus. And then like, oh, it's a Why gas are planet. Men from Mars and women are from Venus. What was it? Boys go to wait. Girls go to Jupiter to get more stupider. Crazy. They say men crazy. go to Mars to get more candy bars. I'm getting hoes. Yeah. Fuck candy. <laughs> Where's the pussy? Goddamn. Goddamn. If you could go to. <laughs> If you could go to the moon right now, it would start to finish two weeks. You'd guarantee you'd live. Would you do it? No. No? Fucking boring piece of shit. Oh, look outside. The same thing for two weeks. Who gives a <laughs> shit? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. There's no gravity. That'll get old in 11 minutes. Dude, Who it would freak shit? me the fuck out. Yeah. Wait, would you not freak out the first time you jump out? Zero gravity? Think about that. It's not get me back in the plane now. Sir, it's not real. <laughs> Like I'm being What you just go to a sky zone And you start flying around <laughs> Yeah but it's not real man It's not real What Going to Mars Space I don't even think space Like Alright let me be real for a second Yeah I don't do I believe in space <laughs> Okay Space I do believe in I feel in. like 30 seconds ago you didn't No I believe in <laughs> I believe in space I don't think there was a moon landing For sure I don't think there was a moon landing I don't think anyone's ever been on fucking Mars. No one's been on any. Dude, no one knows anything. But like, okay, let's say you're Buzz Aldrin. Was he the first astronaut? Neil one Armstrong. of strong. Yeah. Neil Armstrong. Imagine you do it. And you come home like, man, that shit's fake. You're like, what? Yeah. I just did it. Yeah. Nah, you didn't. How did he not just come out with the Samurai sword and start hacking away at people? He did. He hit someone in the face. Did yeah, he? we've shown that. Many oh, times. you're right. Yeah. Yeah, he got upset. That's funny. Somebody's like, it's not real. China's building a moon base. It's supposed to be done by 2035. 
Like China's people. building a moon base. Mm-hmm. They haven't and even what have they been got to the there? moon <laughs> yet. They're, it's like a science facility. Like people can live there. On the moon? Yeah. Guys, 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 guys. Did they guys, find... Guys. Didn't, China's never been in the moon. <laughs> now they're going to build a house? Yeah, townhouses. <laughs> but they've never been to the moon. How, they don't they have to get there first before they start fucking uh, putting down foundations? No. <laughs> So it is silly. crazy, but didn't they find water on Mars and like we live here? Did hey, they? let's fix Oklahoma first, huh? Oklahoma, <laughs> what about <laughs> Chicago? Right, but they're like, oh, let's start with the moon. No, let's take states that don't have an NFL team. Wyoming, <laughs> let's give them an NFL team. Yeah, let's make them more fun. Yeah, every state should have NFL hockey, uh, MLB. Yeah, like the f- no wonder people in Alaska are pissed. No teams. It's bright for three minutes a day. Yeah. And in, in the winter. Their wife's a pine tree. <laughs> <laughs> why don't we why don't we Go just ahead. wait? Why don't we just work on making the states better at first? Why like are we just giving up? Is that that's like when you just unplug a video game. You're like, nope, starting over. Can I tell you why? There's no money in making Oklahoma better. Yeah, there there's is. Mo- no, there's not. Bro, there's Vegas. so much money in making moon travel fun. Moon Billion travel? trillions of dollars. You ever have a fucking yeah. Marriott on the moon? You know, there's a trillion dollars. Qdoba up there? Bro. Your meat's floating. Are you kidding me? (laughs) They put it in the bowl and it's floating. (laughs) What do you think the first restaurant on the moon is going to be? Hooters. (laughs) Hooters is the funniest idea ever. It's a restaurant. They're like, ah, bow tits. (laughs) Give me it. Where do I sign up? Yeah. They need that for BBLs. They probably do have it. It's called Miami. Mm, I saw a BBL this morning. Or is it my dreams? I forget. Dude, sex dreams oh, are so today. funny. What? Sex dreams are so funny. Yeah. It's your brain being like, what if we did this? And you it's wake cool, up, though. you're like, cool. I feel like my brain is like a, a wheel of options. You spin it before a dream. You're like, all right, terrifying or horny. <laughs> you know, I don't have terrifying dreams anymore. Really? Those are gone. I don't have dreams Well, that's anymore. melatonin. That sounds so sad. No, I, I, when I'm really tired, I don't have dreams. Like, like when I'm just working my... Dick off. Yeah, no dreams. You, you always have dreams, but you just don't remember them. You know how funny. shitty of a dream you have to be to not get like remembered. Yeah, <laughs> like that's, you. That's bad. What's yeah. the uh, Jack? Whoever has a computer, can you look at like, how many dreams you have? Uh, like a night. It's like a lot of dreams. It's a lot of dreams. Well, some are like thirty second ones. Some are like full on between <laughs> three and six per night. But how, some how they dream up to seven. Some get seven. Yeah. Okay. That's that Flirts. extra horny one. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> how, and how how long are dreams usually? Because I feel like in my head, it's always like just like one scene. It's not yeah. like the the build up or the end. It's just like a random cutaway. Yeah, between five and twenty minutes. Holy shit! Yeah. Wow, dude, that's so sick. I'm just, in, that's, I'm just watching that's Instagram that's reels in my brain. head. The same same thing. Did you guys see Inside Out too? They had a good um thing on dreams and how they work. No, dude, I saw Inside Out one. I cried like a little yeah. bitch. I yeah. see it. Inside Out two, I bet I bet y'all cry yeah, too. Great. You guys great saw? Oh, all you guys saw it? Yeah. My kids love Inside Out. Dude, Inside Out one, I literally was weeping. Holy shit, what a good movie, dude! Any Pixar movie, I feel like I've cried every Pixar movie. They really know how to do it. God. Yeah, it's a random one so that'll get you. Would you rather have your girl tell you that she had a horny dream and it wasn't about you or just le- let it be? What do you mean? Like, she wakes up and she's like, I just had a dream that I was getting bunned down by Lionel Messi. Yeah, or do you, don't tell do you me. Want, yeah, don't tell you. Uh, yeah, but, what, what, what's, yeah, but he, I would use that as, uh, I'd, I'd clock that, I'd save it. And then if there was ever an argument, I'd be like, yo, oh, 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 remember when you fuck Lionel Messi in your, in your dreams? You know, you know That's what That's an do? insane man thing. You know, you know what you could do? Next day, Amazon ship and Lionel Messi jersey walk in. Ah, what's yeah. good? What's good? Mm, and then you and then I fulfill the fantasy. Yep. And then she goes, oh, "You're so messy." <laughs> hey, you guys, want to get into sock talk? Let's do it. Let's do it. Right. Sock talk. Uh, this is from Mad. She says, "What advice do you guys have for me? I'm going to college in September." Is Dude, it? I would be, I would be really, really excited. Yeah. Because college is where you really find out who you are it's an amazing experience so you go from like being like a kid and then you're like sent off to this like magical place and you have all, you, you can do anything you want say whatever you want and then you just you you have the autonomy to like become who you are it's a cool like molding uh time of your life and also so, you're sharing experience with a lot of people like yeah, everybody yeah. in the dorms also has no idea what the fuck's going on yeah and so that's kind of fun and i think allow yourself to uh a change and like just know yes. there's a lot of change coming because yep. I remember like you know the first couple of weeks you're like you're just eating with like your your roommate or like maybe yeah. somebody down the hall yeah. 
And you're like, are these, are these, you're, I was thinking, so like, are these my friends? This is my college squad. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. This and that. And then as time goes on, you meet more and more people. I, I think joining a, a group and organization, whether it's sports or fraternity or sorority helps a lot. Um, when you, you meet a lot of people, but yeah, just know everybody knows, doesn't know what the hell's going on. Yeah. And it's fun. like, I mean, like you'll, you, you'll be there for, and after like a three weeks or a month, you're like, dude, I run this campus. I know where everything is. Yeah. The first couple weeks are just shitting. Yeah. Bags. But I think that's a good point. It's like all those fears that you have, you're like, I don't know where this class is. Where do I sit? All this kind of stuff. Everyone's feeling the same way. So like, I wouldn't feel ever like feel embarrassed or like ashamed that you don't, that you're feeling like uncomfortable because everyone's feeling the same way. Um, but I also would just be open to just all the, all the experiences. Yeah, don't, yeah, don't yeah. like put horse blinders on and be like, Oh, I'm in college to, you know, do, like be a bio major, or whatever. So I'm going to do that. So like, just be open. Cause like I, you know, I changed my major twice. Like just be open to, to whatever experiences float your way. Yeah. What's the first party she should go to? How drunk should she get? First party. Usually you'll kind of hear about it through the dorms or something. Or, or you ask people around like, like, oh, what's the street where like there's usually like parties or something? And then like you and some of the dorm mates. I remember the first like we in college, like me and some of the people from my dorms, we just like walked around the neighborhoods. Yeah. And you just kind of like stumble upon one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's, it's easier walking. for girls too because they get in for free. True. True. I yeah. did. I was, I joined a frat like, so I, the, the frat life or whatever started like a two weeks before school even really? started. Yeah, it was like two weeks after school, so it was like two weeks of just riffing with a bunch of freaking normies, dude. <laughs> no, we we just it, like like, it, like immediately. It is I, funny though. You join a frat and then it's literally a scene out of a movie. Yeah, where it's like they're like you're like getting because you've been hanging with these people. It's kind of a piece of shit move, but you've been hanging with your dorm mates and everybody on the floor for like three weeks, and then all of a sudden you're in this frat and you got like this sickest rager to go to, and it's like a Thursday night. And they're like, Hey, Trev, what are you doing tonight? Like, Ugh. Yeah. I, uh, just, uh, a little, I just got a little party. Yeah, yeah, and be like, yeah, oh, yeah. cool. What time should we get there? And you're like, we? <laughs> <laughs> are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm done with you, nerds. <laughs> <laughs> you got me here. I'm out of here. You're holding a microscope, you fucking I'm weirdo. game 2024. I'm out of here. Out of here, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but but then then you know because you, you just don't you don't you don't have any pull. You're like the lowest guy in yeah. the fraternity. You're like you ba just, you're barely invited. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't just pull up with the whole squad. But then eventually you know they get them in and whatnot. But did you guys get hazed? Yeah, yeah. that's how you get into a frat. A lot yeah. of boozing, a lot of elephant walks. Yeah. All right, thanks. Man. I was with our mouth. <laughs> Dude, could you elephant walk with your with your dick to mouth? Did I have to or could I? Could you like yeah. you know we're talking about standing six and nine? Yeah. What about? Caterpillar 69. Okay. I could definitely do it. You're just, you have to walk like you're on your like back. Yeah. I think, I think the idea is to make the dude in your mouth come quick. So then you hold on. So you hold on to like the, uh, like I think it's, I think it's easier to hold on to like a loose dick than like one that's like super hard. You might be honest with that. Yeah. Yeah. I, mm -hmm. I would agree. Yeah. Huh, we'll try. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Mads, for the uh, write in. This is Anonymous Confession. I got fucked by an energy drink delivery guy in his truck red bull hot gives you red wings <laughs> <laughs> these are the jokes these are the written jokes for this episode uh that's great that's awesome i mean think because about, think about him he like if you're if you're an energy drink driver like you're on energy drinks so he piped <laughs> down oh, like yeah. fully energized yeah. he wasn't some lazy fuck his dick turned into a celsius a hundred percent i mean dude did you have at your college campus the red bull girls yep yep oh my god they turned a mini cooper into a red bull can <laughs> dude it was so hot and then they'd walk around campus just being you, like, want some? you want some those like that was like to me that was like your brazzers girl like you're the yep. hottest woman yep. ever seen it was that and and uh hooters which is this we're like on the same level. Like if you if you dated a Hooters wedges or you dated a Red Bull girl, you're like, am I the prince of the campus? Or a Hollister girl? What? That wasn't really. We didn't really. I mean, obviously we had those people, no. but we, that wasn't like. Did on Hollister the docket. in your guys' hometown have like a giant roof on it? Yeah. Like yeah. a roof out front. Yeah. Who were they, they fooling with that? <laughs> <laughs> what did that yeah. roof go to? <laughs> Nothing. But I, I tell you what, dude. You take a smoke break up there. <laughs> I'm stressing, dude. Do they do they still have? The people with no clothes that stand out in front of Abercrombie. No cl mannequins? No, they have like real people. <laughs> what? Like I think dudes. they got rid of that. Do, really? Yeah. Really? Yeah, dude, remember the, dude, East, Coast, admit, the East Coast thing? But like there was like like quote unquote Abercrombie models that would stand out front of the store and the dudes would have no shirts, no shirts and just like swim trunks on or whatever. And the women would have like bikinis on. And it would be like what? all Abercrombie stuff. 
But it was just like they would stand out front and, and like people would come by, take pictures of them and shit. Yeah. They didn't have Right? Am I? No, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Yeah, they got rid of it in 2015. I'm pretty sure there's a documentary on Netflix about it. Really? Yeah. Huh? We didn't have that. I haven't been to the mall in so long. I'm from San Diego. San Diego. Yeah. Okay, okay. We had it in San Diego too. Okay, okay. Yeah, it was a thing. And they would spray the cologne Diego. everywhere. Yeah, dude, the cologne. They, yeah, oh, they do God. spray the cologne. They blast the cologne in there. Yeah. Get people in, fired up, ready. God, I remember. What does that say? We went to a mall that was like not like a grove or like a, like a more of a The only time mall. I've been in one that wasn't that was when you're doing like a funny bone or something. Yeah, and like yeah. a, in a mall where their comedy club is. They're, they're so bizarre. It's like half the stores are shut down. Yeah. They have weird attractions like, oh, the, the selfie museum. <laughs> what type Where's of the loser CEO? is here? Yeah. Actually, it's a genius idea. Yeah, but it's not like, I don't know. It's not like, it's like a pink light behind you. Like, whoa. Like there's so many filters nowadays. Like you could just put that behind you already. Like yeah. you're going to pay to take a bunch of selfies. Is there, is there a... Like a like a fee to yeah you gotta we, you gotta pay to enter. I've pitched wow. this before and I think I tried to make it a bit or something I don't know but I think it should be useful selfies like a fake car accident so you can take a selfie <laughs> and be like I'm late for work, uh, the hospital, funeral and you, you like take selfies and be like oh my god I'm late but you're just clocking all these spots at the mall. Just a bunch of funerals. Yeah, funeral, car accident, Your grandma, hospital. Can't make it. Yeah, mama died. First funeral, you know, first. Yeah, you know. In Planned Parenthood, oopsie daisy. <laughs> yeah, or even like you're like there's a, there's a fake taxidermy old lady that you're helping cross the street. <laughs> I could have said wax figure, but taxidermy is more realistic. Yeah, but dude, imagine that you're like helping her cross the street. Like, yeah, I mean, you it's got, but it's got. Well, you can't send it to work. And be like, I'm gonna be late. No, we don't send it to work. You put it on an Instagram story and be like, man, just know that helping the elderly. That's true. What about a yacht with hose? Yes. My bad on my break. Bro, uh, dude, okay, here, here, they need a section of the place where it's like post breakup. And there's just a jack dude, like forearm at a dinner table. And you can take a photo of it. He's got and, a nice watch on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And then if you're a guy, you, you can just take a photo on a yacht. And like Dan Bilzerian's like kind of out of focus in the background, but he's there. Yeah, there's a bunch of hose. <laughs> bunch and of hose. Some, some girl that's like sort of in frame, but just kissing. Yeah. Her. And Dude, you're like, like, huh, Tuesdays. Th- that's a real selfie museum. Yeah. But like you go there and said it's like a heart that says like L-U-V, love. You know what they should have one for real? They should have the, uh, like a, a Ferrari steering wheel and a Ferrari yeah. uh, seat. And you're sitting there, you just selfie. That's what I'm saying. That's Bitcoin's a better... up, bitch. Yeah. Yeah. Bitcoin's up. Fuck oh. your dad. Yeah, fuck your dad. <laughs> fuck your dad. I can't believe you died. Oh. But that's a useful selfie museum. Yeah. Shit that you can actually use. But when you go there, it's just like those like, you know, restaurants have like a green bush wall. Yeah. It's like that. And then some like signs like live, laugh, love. Oh, cool. I'm glad I paid $20 for a selfie. I'm going to live, laugh, kill myself. <laughs> I, I want that sign. I'll make that sign. Live, laugh, kill myself. Do you think we're the first generation that jokes so much about offing ourselves? No. You My think- dad would joke around all the time about that stuff. Well. He's sitting in traffic. I'm going to fucking kill myself. <laughs> Yeah, but like that that's like an expression. I think our generation's like LOL, like not gonna do it, but like if I happen to own a live, you know, yeah. like you know, it's more of like a joke. I think we're the first generation to do it, to be about it. <laughs> I kinda like that. <laughs> well because my dad's like, oh, I'll kill myself. Oh yeah, be about oh, it. Oh Mark Jew. don't bite. Oh uh, Jesus. Uh, <laughs> what? Uh, I'm you know sweating. what I mean? Yeah, of course. I think it's I think it's good. And we're a proactive generation. We're about that word, <laughs> word life. It's got to be a, uh, I mean, what a moment if you're about to off yourself and you live. Like, you probably, it's almost like you you flirt the line of death. And you probably, like, feel something or you see something right before. Yeah. Like, like, a, like, a, like, like this, if you, the second you jump off the Golden Gate. Go ahead. It's fine. I'm just saying there's got to be, like, this, like, moment where you're like, oh, fuck, I shouldn't have done this. Yeah. And then you live. I think you jump and you go pure bliss. And the next moment you go, oh, crap, I well, left yeah. the oven on. Oh, yeah, there's probably both feelings. There's probably some like the pain stops here. And, yeah. there, and there's like some positivity in that. And, yeah. But there's probably, but there, there's a lot of people who in their interviews, they talk about like the moment they jumped, like, oh, fuck. Mm-hmm. But then you live through it and you're probably like, holy, you know, you probably felt that. Like that moment. Yeah. I, I mean, there, no, no, there is something to be said by being like trying to like flirt with death. You, it doesn't, it doesn't work. And then you realize how awesome life is like all funny for that. a second. Yeah. Oh, I definitely need that. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. Let me, 
I don't I don't need it. I understand it. I, I'm completely joking around. The Lord, whoever the universe, don't fuck with me. I'm I joke around, life's great, yada yada yada. You know what I mean? Okay, well that doesn't make it sound great. Yada yada yada. Right, right. Yada yada right, yada. Right, 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 what, you know right, what I mean? Right, yeah. Yeah. Um anyways, did we do it? Yeah, that's, that's podcast. podcast. I'm sweating. I am profusely. What, what is this? Why is know. it so fucking hot? I don't know. God damn it. All right. Well, you got to go. You got to kill some gophers. <laughs> I got I to gotta go jerk off to Monster Energy Cans. Um, Guys, thank you so much for being a part of this gosh darn podcast. You guys are the reason this thing still exists, obviously. So come see Mr. Wallace, Mr. Boss on our tour. We love you guys. If you want an extra episode, bonus episode every Friday, sign up Boom. for Patreon. It's only $5 a month for extra episodes, ad-free. Uh, Patreon.com backslash Sip Sox Pod. Also, we have Apple bonus episodes. No video, but same audio. Um, That is on the Apple feed. Swipe your face. Good to go. That's only four ninety nine, And that is it. We love you guys. I got a big old dick. I've seen it.